So this is uh, Professor Greg Clements doing an electrostatics example where there are three charges on the x-axis. The positive x goes off to the right. There's a charge of minus 2 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs at the 3 centimeter mark. There's a charge of plus 5 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs at 9 centimeters. There's a charge of plus 4 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs at 9 centimeters. And we want to know where could the electric field be equal to zero. Before we try to write the equation and solve the problem, we should apply some understanding to see what the possible regions are for a solution. I'm going to call region A, this first region off to the left. And uh, to help us you know, remember the direction of electric field, let's put a little positive charge out here. This positive charge would be attracted towards the minus 2. That reminds us the electric field points towards negative charges. So that would be the electric field for the minus 2. And I'll abbreviate these. I'll call this the minus 2, this the 5, this the 4. And ignore the 10 to the minus 6 for talking purposes. Um, what about the 5 charge? Well, electric field points away from a positive charge. The positive test charge out here would be repelled by the plus 5 times 10 to the minus 6 Coulomb charge. So that would create some arrow off to the left. And similarly for the plus 4 charge, we're going to create an arrow off to the left. So there is a possibility that this arrow and the sum of these two arrows might match in magnitude and add to 0. Let's go a little further. Region B. If I put a positive charge here, again we're going to be attracted to the negative 2 charge. We're going to be repelled by the plus 5 charge. We're going to be repelled by the plus 4 charge. We've got three arrows to the left. Impossible for the electric field to equal 0 on the left side. All three electric fields at this position point to the left. The minus charge creates an electric field to the left. The 5 charge creates an electric field to the left at this position. The 4 charge creates an electric field to the left at this position. Region C. Region C between the uh, 5 and the 4. And if I put a positive charge at this uh, position, then we could have again the uh, negative charge, that arrow. The positive 5 charge creates an arrow this way. The positive 4 charge creates an arrow this way. And again, we have a possibility of uh, these balancing and the electric field, the net, being zero. What about region D? Region D, if I put uh, some positive test charge out here, we're going to have a small electric field due to the minus 2 charge. We're a long way away. It's a small charge. The 5 and the 4, the electric field is both for both of those is to the right, and they're going to be long arrows. They're going to be big values for electric field. They're larger charges in magnitude than the minus 2, and we're closer. And again, remembering kq over r squared is how we calculate electric field, the magnitude of the electric field. Um, these arrows are going to dominate. It's not possible to add up to 0 there. So let's go ahead and uh, try to find the place where the uh, electric field does equal zero. So I'm going to bring in a little work here. Again, region C, that's the only one I'm going to consider in this video. Uh, you could work out region A and uh, ask your instructor if you got that right, but let's just worry about region C. Again, the magnitude of the electric field is kq over r squared. So if I start with the negative 2 charge, 9 times 10 to the ninth, minus 2 times 10 to the minus 6, we're at some position x on the x-axis that's off to the right here. So x minus 3 would be the distance to the minus 2 charge. Um, and this term should be a negative because the uh, negative charge here needs an electric field pointed to the left. So that would be a negative in my system of having positive off to the right on this x-axis. What about the 5 charge? K, Q. Now we're at x minus 9 for a distance. We square that. And is this plus sign correct? Is the electric field at this position x off to the right? Yes. Electric field points away from the positive charge at this position. The electric field is pointed off to the right. I need a plus for this term because my convention is plus is off to the right on this x-axis. 
What about the 4 charge? 9, the 4 times 9 times 7 to the ninth, 4 times 7 minus 6. We're at 14 for where the charge is, minus x, and then we square that. And I do need a negative for this term. I have to put that in manually. The kq over r squared does not generate this negative. Uh, but my physics understanding tells me that the electric field created by this positive charge points to the left at my position x. So I need a negative that's off to the left. Well, as you've seen, I've already done. We've got k in every term, 9 times 10 to the ninth. There's a factor of 10 to the minus 6 in every term, so I cancel those off. And we come up with uh, this expression that I now need to evaluate at each integer position along here. We're not going to try using a graphing calculator or a spreadsheet or some computer program or complicated algebra to solve this. We're just going to find which x position that's an integer gives us closest to 0. So I have this minus 2 in the numerator here that's left. I'm testing at x equals 10. So 10 minus 3 generates a 7, and that's squared. Here, I've got 5 in the numerator. I'm testing x equals 10. 10 minus 9 is a 1. We square that. I've got a minus sign. I've got a 4. 14 minus 10 is a 4. And then we square that. And that generates <coughs> uh, these numbers, uh, the minus uh, 0 0.0408 plus 5 and minus 0.25 with a net of 4.71, not close enough to 0. So I'm going to raise this up a little bit, and let's go for x equals 11. Do you agree that these are the proper denominators when x is 11? And we come back here, 11 minus 3, oh, that's an 8. 11 minus 9, a 2. A 14 minus 11, that's a 3. And again, all these get squared. Um, so there we are. We've got the uh, calculations. Go ahead and run it through a calculator. And you come up with these factors, these terms, I should say. They net out to 0 0.775. Well, we're getting closer to zero. We're not at zero yet, um, unless this is really weird and there's a zero in between the uh, points here. We're not at zero yet. So let's try x equals 12. 12 minus 3, 12 minus 9, 14 minus 12. And doing the uh, calculations, so minus 0 0.25025 plus 0.555 and minus 1. Here we go, minus 0 0.470. And in between here, there is a 0. Um, we'd have to do more calculations. We're not going to take the time to do that. We'll just say x equal 12 is close enough. Um, it's probably 11.6 you know, or something, um, but on your own you could try that out. Just to confirm, we are, uh, it's not beyond 12. Let's calculate for x equals 13. So 13 minus 3, 13 minus 9, 14 minus 13, then we get minus 0.371. We're getting more and more negative. So our solution is that x equals 12 for the wording of this problem. Just trying to find the integer position. And if we take a look here, so be right at this position. Um, the, we're kind of closer to this 4 charge. That's good. We're a little bit further away from this 5 charge that kind of uh, dominates here, and it's getting help from the minus 2. Um, Oh, my bad. The 4 charge points electric field off to the left. The 4 and the minus 2 are kind of working together. And then the uh, 5 is going this way. Um, so that's where the electric field is equal to 0. Where is the force equal to 0? If I put a charge, um, I just said some positive charge here. Maybe I'll make this uh, you know, 3 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs. And everything is fixed. Um, would the net force be 0 at um, roughly 11.6? Um, would the force be 0? Well, I'd calculate that using f equals k q1 q2 over r squared. So I'd have to modify these calculations. I'd have to put a q in each of these for the charge I'm going to insert at this position x. 
whatever that number is, you know, 3 times 10 to the minus 6 I suggested, but that's going to cancel off. So this method works for both uh, finding electric field equals 0 or finding force equals 0. That should not be surprising because you know that uh, F equals Q times E. So if you find the place where the electric field is equal to 0, the force is also equal to 0. Keep practicing and ask your instructor a question if you have a question.